Hey everybody, it's episode 6. It is the second last episode of The Book of Boba Fett. The fifth episode did not have Boba Fett in it, but it did have our favourite Mandalorian. And some pretty cool set design. That freaking ring space station, that was super cool. Uh, we built, it was basically The Mandalorian Season 3 Episode 1. So for this episode, I presume we won't have The Mandalorian Season 3 Episode 2, but we will have a return to the Boba Fett story. Him versus the Pikes. And maybe, maybe Mando will be in it, helping out. He's got that super cool ship with space, space for Grogu. You know, you don't have no droid ports anymore, so it, it's perfectly Grogu shaped, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, let's get into episode 6 and see how they set up the finale. Jedi must forego all attachment. Yeah, maybe we will see Grogu. First, I gotta pay a visit to a little friend. Are, are we gonna see that? It's all there. We'll leave the specs and take the great the specs. Do you know where you are, gentlemen? Oh, hey! Timothy on the Falford. Is he taking on the pikes? I'll give himself? you the benefit of the doubt, being you're not from around here. But out here, I'm the one who tells folks what to do. <laughs> it's a standoff. All we need is a tumbleweed. If you gentlemen load up your wares and head back to where you came, we. Yeah, get out of here. Don't make him shoot, he's a good shot. They're gonna shoot. Think it through. Dude, they're all dead. Good choice. Okay, can I leave with all the money? I can see you're the smart one. <laughs> now load that chest and go. It's worth more than your town. Well, then maybe I'll retire. <laughs> He's getting in on the, the financial action. Got any NFTs, dude? Oh, spice. Yeah, but where are we going to find a desert on Tatooine? I didn't think we'd follow him. Thought we were going to wait till The Mandalorian Season 3. Dude, sweet ride though. R2-D2! Oh, I don't think my brain can handle this. It's like getting, in, getting into a time machine, you know? I'm looking for Skywalker. Is he around? Do we have the budget? Grogu? He's about yay high. A little smaller than you. <laughs> oh, what's this? I like, I like being on a green planet for once. Oh geez, they have a whole army of them. What are they doing? Are they building this thing up here? What are we doing, R2? Is this where they are? Uh, dude? Dude, buddy, you, you shut you shut down, dude. Don't shut off. Wake up. Is that a bench? Just sit on the bench and wait for him. Yeah! Hey, buddy. Oh, jeez, there's Luke, too. Holy frickin' shit. They do have the budget. <laughs> Are you gonna eat him, bro? Oh, he got him. <laughs> I gotta eat, Luke. Oh, CGI is... I can't even... It's so good. <laughs> hey, Gro Grogo, did you ever see anything like this? <laughs> you gotta teach him to do that. All right, let's go for a walk. His name was Yoda. He was small like you, but his heart was huge. <laughs> Size matters not. He would speak in riddles. Do you remember back home? I don't think he remembers much of anything. Would you like to remember? Oh, can you 
Oh, shit. The galaxy is a dangerous place, Grogu. I will teach you to protect yourself. Well, this is great. I, I don't care about the pikes or nothing. Just give me this. Just two, two people sitting by a pond. Oh, hey. Is he still on his bench? He's lying on it. <laughs> hey, long time. I'm here to see the kid. That's why R2 brought you to me instead. <laughs> what are we building? A temple? It will someday be a great school. Oh, a school? Grogu will be its first student. I want to see him. Is he allowed to see him? Remember that whole attachment thing? Your attachment to Grogu would be difficult to let go of. Yeah. He's my buddy. I just want to make sure he's safe. Oh, there he is. Are you doing this for Grogu? Hey. Or are you doing this for yourself? Don't guilt me with your words. I want to give him this. It's protection. As a Mandalorian foundling, he should have this. It's his right. Perhaps he is a Padawan now. You can be more than one thing, lady. Then allow me to deliver it. Damn it. We... I came all this way. I got a ship and everything with it. Grogu shaped hole in it. If he sees you, it will only make things more difficult for him. Damn it. We'll get it sometime. It'll be in the mantle rain. Make sure he's protected. Yeah. Ah, oh, see? Yeah, he knows. Let's see you jump. There. Real? Really? How about that? Feel the force flow through you. <laughs> Don't try. Do. Oh, there is no try, Come on. Grogu. I want to show you something. <laughs> the wide world exists in balance. Feel the force all around you. The only force he doesn't feel is gravity. <laughs> There's so many parallels here, it's unbelievable. Oh jeez. Is Grogu gonna get a lightsaber? This is a training remote. Did I pass the test? Oh, don't I need something to protect myself with? Isn't it gonna zap me? Can I freeze it in place with my force power? Ooh, look, oh, the jump! <laughs> He's learning fast. Hey, hey, you're not supposed to, that's cheating. He cheated, Luke. <laughs> Good. It's more like he's remembering that I'm actually teaching him anything. Sometimes the student guides the master. So much like your father. Damn. <laughs> In what way? You have to be more specific. You can't just say that. At what age? Will I see you again? Ah, of course. Star Wars. Everybody sees everybody. May the Force be with you. Meanwhile, how you feel, Amando? You ready for a battle? Ready to kick some pike ass? Did you ever see a guy riding a Rancor before? He didn't work, buddy. This guy's almost as cute as Grogu, isn't he? Unexpected, dude. The storm is about to break. Shit. We need foot soldiers. Okay. I might be able to help with that. Oh, jeez. It's a dinosaur. Jaw jaw. Are these, these the ones he brought the egg to? I'm here to recruit a bunch of people. You want to park your starship? You got to do it out there in the flat. I'm looking for Marshal Vanth. I don't think you heard what I said. I'll take it from here, deputy. Oh, there he is. Wait, how did he? Was he hiding behind the guy? <laughs> Where was he? He's new. Still a bit jumpy. Haven't seen you since you gave up your armor. How have you been? More careful. Can I buy you a drink? I still don't see what all that's got to do with me. Your people are good fighters and there's plenty of credits in it for them too. This place need, needs music. 
We need good people to step up or the spice is bound to come through these parts. Yeah, you've seen it. The town wants no part of it. Come on, dude. That's a city full fight. I didn't think you were one to back down from bullies. See, that's what I like about you, Mando. That big smile of yours lets you get away with anything. <laughs> but I'll see what I can do. That's good enough for me. Get the word out. I want all men and women of fighting age to come to town. Oh, we're doing it. What's good? Who's this? Do me a favor and tell these people to head inside for a spell. Is there going to be a dust up? I don't see any tumbleweed yet. Let me handle this, deputy. <laughs> dude, dude isn't human. Whatever Fett is paying you will match. Oh. Hey, the marshal ain't for sale. Dude, you're... Dude, get back in. He's gonna kill you. I'd be careful where I was sticking my nose. Dude? You tell your spice runners Tatooine's clothes for business. You should have never given up your armor. Oh, shit. It, he could die. Just to show how powerful this guy is? This guy is definitely dead. He's twitchy. He's too twitchy. Yeah. Tatooine belongs to the Syndicate. Is he? Yeah, he's fine. Will this just bring them into the fight, though? Ooh. Speaking of music. Where, where are they going? Why? What's going on? Uh, uh, wait! You forgot your Captona! Oh! oh, oh, oh. Did they just kill everybody in this bar? No, oh, he's giving it to him. Chainmail. The Mandalorian wanted you to have this. But before you take it, I will give you a choice. Ooh. What's in the box? I'll take the box. Ooh. This is a lightsaber. <laughs> it belonged to my teacher, Master Yoda. I'm offering it to you. Do you have to pick? But you may choose only one. Which do you choose? He's gonna pick the, the the armor, of course. He can come back later and choose the you know, after the story is finished and get the lightsaber. Hey, can we before we talk about the episode, can we talk about how good the CGI is for Luke? Um, when I saw it in The Mandalorian, like when he first appeared in The Mandalorian, I was like, oh, it's cool, it's cool seeing Luke again, but his face is all weird and dodgy, you know, it's, it's, it wasn't quite right, but here, it's probably the best CGI I've seen in any TV show ever, you know, after the first initial, holy shit, they're showing, they're actually showing Luke. Um, you almost forget that he's not there, you know? In the later scenes, like, you, you forget that it's just CGI, and you're like, oh, that's just Luke, that's just Luke. Hey, it's Mark Hamill, he's, he's just there. Of course he is. Um, uh, I'm not saying it's, you know, super perfect or anything, but it's certainly the best I've ever seen it, and much better than it was in The Mandalorian. Speaking of The Mandalorian, this was episode two of season three of <laughs> The Mandalorian. <laughs> now, was Boba Fett in it? Yeah, he was in it a little bit, in one scene, setting up the stage for the, the pike fight. But um, I didn't think, when, when we left it at the end of the last episode, and Mando's like, I gotta check in on my little friend, my little buddy, gotta... You know, I was like, okay, they're setting up the start of the next season of The Mandalorian. You know, we'll pick up there that story. No, we just we just continued, continued with Mando to this beautiful planet. I, I don't know what the planet's called, but it, it the green is a is a nice break from the the desert of Tatooine. We gotta see R R two. We gotta see the little. Worker, spider, 
robot things? Building a school? And a nice little training sequence that very heavily mirrored Luke's training sequence. There's kind of a poetry to that. <laughs> As George, George Lucas would say, it rhymes, you know? Um, Yoda, treat, Yoda teaches Luke and Luke teaches the next Yoda, you know? Um, and Yoda, uh, Grogu is super cute with the frogs. And Luke is like, hey, you think you think your little frog grabbing is cool? Wait till you see this. Grrr. Grabs every frog on the planet, dangles it above the earth for a little bit. But at the end, Grogu has to choose between his calling, the lightsaber, his her history and his heritage and everything that's good in the universe, and his friends, friendship with Mando. And I think friendship wins because if friendship doesn't win, we don't get to see Grogu. So I'm using TV rules to decide what I think he's going to choose. Um, and he can always do both. He can come back later. Sorry for my side adventure for a few years, but I'm back. I'm ready to be trained. I like the char characterization of Mark or of Luke. It felt felt right, you know. Everything felt right about it. Um, hey, and we got to see Tim the Elephant's character, whose name escapes me for a second. We saw him be badass at the start with the pikes. But then they introduced this new guy, who I believe is a character from one of the animated shows that I have not watched. And to set up how good he is, he not only takes down Tim the Oliphant's character temporarily, not, not a kill shot, but also takes on the other guy at the same time. Just showing layers of power and tears of sharpshootedness. We needed the, the part at the start to remind us how badass he was, and then the bit at the end shows us where this new guy fits in, in the hierarchy. Storytelling. So yeah, another good episode of The Book of Boba Fett, without Boba Fett, but it doesn't matter, because it's all just one big universe. Hey, maybe Boba Fett's going to be heavily featured in the next season of The Mandalorian. Maybe there's going to be other characters that we just throw in, you know? It's a, it's a universe. And we've... Yeah, we know the story of Boba Fett now. We got his backstory. We we know the setup for the, the Pike stuff. I presume the final episode will be getting them the hell off Tatooine. Or maybe not. There's a lot of them. Maybe it'll be a stalemate. But we got all sorts of cool people on our side. Little orc buddies and a Wookiee. And a Mando. Do you think all that town is going to band together and fight with us? After what happened at the end there? I don't know. Is Grogu going to appear? How is he going to get there to the planet? On a ship? And how about the fighting? <laughs> he could. He could. We don't know. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised by anything in this show at the moment. And I'm loving it. One episode to go. Thank you for watching. Come back for the finale next time. And, uh... Yeah. Holy shit. We got all tons of nostalgia in this one, didn't we? Unexpected. No way did I think we were going to see Grogu. Let alone Luke. Jeez. See you next time.